I'm gonna film this. It might be too long. This is already one of the longest episodes, so I might cut this out and make a separate video of it. But we're gonna go over Matt's metal movie drinking game. Because you're supposed to drink while you watch these movies. Let me be clear. Every movie I recommend on Matt Presents should be watched while drinking. I drink while watching them. Matt's metal movie drinking game. Take one drink anytime someone says, Rock and roll! Rock on! Or metal! Or, you know, some variation on that. If, if they sing, scream like, Metal will never die, or death to false metal, you know. You count it. We'll count it. Just rock! Rock! Count it. But they gotta scream it. They gotta scream it. And it's gotta be related to rock or metal. Take a drink for excessively gory deaths. I will let you draw the line on where excessively gory happens. Uh, to me, that line is probably a lot further out than most of you. <laughs> take a drink for decapitations. And take two drinks if it's an excessively gory decapitation. Take a drink if something catches fire, shoots flames, or explodes. Uh... I, I had to add explodes there, because I'm like, catches fire or shoots flames. But then stuff was blowing up, and I'm like, does that count? It's on fire. Mm. Take a drink for metal cameos. Anytime a metal musician, or even like, tangentially metal musicians, like Alice Cooper or Kiss, make a cameo appearance in the film, take a drink. Take a drink if someone gets shirtless. Bonus drink if someone gets pantsless. Man, woman, doesn't matter. If they take their shirt off, take a drink. Take a drink for vampires, demons, zombies, or zombie-like creatures, or werewolves. And take a bonus drink for each additional one of these are in the movie. And let me be clear, those drinks stack. So if there's vampires in the movie, and there's werewolves in the movie, you take a drink for vampires, you take a drink for werewolves, and you take a bonus drink because they're both in there. And if you manage to get all four, one drink for each of them, and three bonus drinks. I don't know if there's a single movie that has vampires, demons, zombies, and werewolves in it. If there is, let me know. Take a drink for religious imagery, satanic imagery, or blasphemy. Take a drink for senseless destruction. Again, the, the definition of senseless is on you. And take a drink for kinky. Interpret that how you will. Take two drinks if a metal band, song, or instrument turns out to be evil. That is the plot of so many fucking metal movies. <laughs> Take a drink for metal stars, writers, and directors. I said one drink for cameos. So, you know, like Alice Cooper showing up in Wayne's World. That's only one drink. But if it, Alice Cooper is the star of the film, like in Monster Dog, two drinks for a metal star. Or a director or a writer. So, you know, Rob Zombie and that one Bruce Dickinson movie. Take a drink if it takes place on Halloween. Two drinks for Satan himself making an appearance in the film. Two drinks for Death by Metal. Anytime a song kills someone, an instrument kills someone, uh, someone starts rocking and the rock causes someone to die. Death by Metal. Take two drinks for Metal Namesakes. That's, uh... Any movie that a band is named after, Black Sabbath, White Zombie, Gojira, um, maybe also if there's a, an album named after it, uh, Let Sleeping Corpses Lie, uh, Diary of a Madman, we'll, we'll count those, take a, take a drink, two, take two drinks for those. If it's a song, it better be a damn popular song. Don't go, ah, oh, well, there's this obscure M Misfits B-side that's named after... Done count. Done count. Gotta be very popular song. So, like, Living Dead Girl? I'll let that one pass. And finally, take three drinks or a shot, whichever you prefer, when a movie goes all the way up to 11. 
Now, not every metal movie will go all the way up to 11. So you don't always have to take a shot for this. But those that do, when it goes up to 11, you will know it. Three drinks or a shot.